Alright, this is the uh, CH46 C9 and um, basically what uh, we use this for, it's a cargo transport helicopter for the United States Marine Corps. Um, you know, our primary purpose is to transport Marines primarily uh, off uh, a carrier and then inland uh, to do whatever mission they're going to execute and then uh, we'll pick them up and uh, bring them back to the boat. Um, the aircraft's been in service since the uh, early 60s through the Vietnam War through uh, today to the uh, conflicts in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan. So this particular uh, helicopter's been in service since 1967. Um, it's had several upgrades. Um, all the avionics uh, and engines um, have pretty much uh, been improved on over the last you know, 40 years. Um, but the airframe that you see today is uh, pretty much the exact airframe as it was manufactured with in 1967. So we have to, uh, two engines, uh, dual redundant systems as far as hydraulics, uh, control boosts to uh, take the pressures off of the uh, controls because the uh, actual pressures that it would take to move the controls on your own, you wouldn't be able to, uh, to, to do that without the assistance of the, uh, the hydraulics. So um, we have uh, some active and passive uh, uh, survival equipment on board the aircraft to uh, help uh, mitigate uh, external threats. Um, this is our uh, chaff and flare pod right here. And, um, you know, able to uh, execute uh, what we need to from there to deploy those uh, and surviving uh, in the air. Um, we've got some uh, radar warning equipment uh, on board the aircraft as well. And as you can see, it's pretty simple design. Uh, it was that way on purpose. Um, just taking a look there from the front. As you can see, uh, we've got a forward and aft head with three uh, rotor blades on it, and those are uh, synchronized so that uh, they'll always kind of be locked out at that position uh, while in flight. Yes. Uh, the head's program, uh, forward and aft, based on uh, your airspeed, uh, to uh, take the stress off the rotors. So uh, as we increase in airspeed, the, the forward and aft head will actually move forward and back to. Uh, get the best clearance on the on the rotors as we're coming around so we have the, the stub wings that you can see here uh, hold our fuel on, the, on either side of the aircraft right here is also uh, act as our main landing gears and um, you can see uh, at the front uh, of where his uh, elbow is those are our EAPS uh, particle intakes basically uh, it's used to separate the dirt uh, out of the air, get rid of the particle contaminants before it goes into uh, the engine. And then uh, there's the engine exhaust and of course the armor over the uh, front of the engines. So, uh, you can fold all these. Yes, the, all these uh, heads will, the rotors will fold, they all collapse towards the aircraft. Uh, that makes it easier for them to uh, stack on an aircraft carrier uh, when we deploy. That way we fit, you know, several on the aircraft without uh, having to keep the rotor blades extended the whole time.